three, two, one. Nice. Three, two, one. Well, the chute looks like it's torn. It came in sideways. <laughs> the, the parachute acted more like a streamer than a chute. I don't know if the shroud line burned or if it just ripped the, the actual chute itself, but the chute looked open, but, but damaged. Now, I did suffer some burn damage on the last flight. But everything looks to be intact. Not bad. Three, two, one. Nice shoot. Beautiful flight. Beautiful. It's going to drift. Nice, soft touchdown. Awesome flight. I'm running the shock cord a little over three times the length of the, the body tube. So that's why you get that long 
extension from the chute down to the rocket itself, but uh, that really takes a lot of the shock out of the ejection, which kind of helps save the, the body from that jolt. But no, that was running a 24 inch parachute. First flight on that parachute as well. And uh, it looked like it took a second for it to unravel, but once it opened, that was a beautiful, beautiful chute. Nice stable descent. Rocket looks good. Huh, looks like we landed next to somebody's old shoe. That's interesting. Overall, great flight. Three, two, one. Good shoot, great shoot. And I think we played the wind drift good enough. It's still probably gonna drift more than I'd like, but wow, it's way up there. <laughs> uh, come on down, baby. Okay, now it's just barely passing overhead and it's still way up there. Okay, it looked like the wind might have shifted. It's stopping the drift. Now it's drifting more. It's coming down nice and slow. It's a great flight, but it's going to be a bit of a hike, that's for sure. All right, she's down. And the hike begins. It didn't drift quite as far as it did on its last flight, running a C65, but I think that's because I played the wind a little bit better this time. I angle it more into the wind. And she still drifted quite a ways. Hopefully that bright orange chute will be visible from a distance. I got a pretty good beat on it, so I know the track on it, but still never know out here in the desert. It looked like it came down nice and soft. Oh, there it is. Well, that's not far at all. Nice, very nice. All right, we got a good shoot. Kind 
kind of a crazy spin. All right, kind of a crazy spin on the down down line, but uh, successful flight. Hopefully, we'll get to find an intact rocket. It was coming down kind of fast, which kind of has me concerned, depending on the angle it hit. And uh, if the fins may have hit a rock. All right, the search begins. A yellow rocket is not the easiest rocket to find out here. I think it would have come this far. Yeah, I don't think it came this far. Oh, I think I see it. Yeah, we, I think we passed it up. No, that ain't it. That's that silly shoe again. <laughs> yeah, this might be the hardest uh, rocket recovery I've had yet. So I'm gonna go back to the pad, replay the launch video. Oh, there we are, look at that, see? There she is. I went way past it. Oh, it landed vertically. Kind of like a Elon Musk Starship. Cool, there it is. In one piece. Three, two, one. Good shoot. I hate to jinx it, but we're running a perfect record today. Another crazy, crazy spin. It's coming down kind of fast. But she's down, and she's down safely. Nice flight. Yeah, I probably jinxed it for the rest of the day. I got one more flight to go. And, uh, but we're, we're doing exceptionally well today. There once was a time where I could not get a parachute to come out of the rocket at all to save my life. And that problem has been, appears to be alleviated.
There she is. All together in one piece, great flight. This is our last flight of the day, and we're shooting for a perfect record. This will be flight number seven, if all goes well. All right, we're going in five, four, three, two, one. Great. Wobbly descent. Oh, it landed in a bush. All right, that'll be easy to find. All right. Yeah. Can you even still see it there, hanging in the bush with the parachute flopping in the wind? Even with that extreme uh, launch angle into the wind, it was blowing strong enough. It's, it's blowing all these rockets pretty far downwind. So it just shows what the winds are doing. But definitely no damage there. It looks like the altimeters in the nose cone have worked successfully on all my flights today so far. So awesome flight, great day.